A mother prepares her eight-year-old son for his first walk home from camp. The boy does it. He takes a wrong turn on the way home, asks a stranger for directions, only to be taken by that man and murdered. ABC's Andrew Kenning is in Brooklyn with more on this. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, George. And that fateful meeting, it happened on this quiet block, this seemingly safe block here in Brooklyn. And what makes it so scary is that it was completely random. This boy had never met his attacker. Wanting to be so grown up, eight-year-old Libby Kletsky had asked his parents to let him walk home alone from camp. Just seven blocks and they would meet him. They had even practiced it together. It was his first day on his own, but police say he got confused, missed a turn, and asked for directions. From the wrong man, 35-year-old Levy Aaron. This is every parent's nightmare, but this type of incident is extremely rare. In the tape, you can see Libby walking behind a man now identified as Aaron. Police say that just after 5 p.m. Monday, Lebby began the walk from day camp. At 5.33, and in a terrible twist of fate, he ran into Levy Aaron and asked him for directions. Aaron then told the little boy to wait while he entered a nearby dentist's office. Seven minutes later, Aaron takes the boy away in his car. His abduction set off a massive search by the boy's tight-knit community. With the assistance of a receptionist and another dentist, detectives at 2 a.m. found records that established Aaron's name and address. At 2.30, cops entered his home. At 35 years old, Aaron still lived in his parents' home. A plumbing store clerk, he was religious, and his Facebook page shows 225 friends and interests like American Idol. But neighbors described him as a loner who hung out in playgrounds. Why is this type of abduction by a stranger so rare? Wrong place, wrong time for the little boy, and the exact time for sexual perversion to want to snatch, seize, and destroy. Police say Libby confessed to the abduction and led them to this dumpster where a suitcase contained the boy's body parts. <laughs> Thousands gathered last night in New York to celebrate the life of the innocent little boy who would have been nine years old next week. And one news report says that during the killer's confession, he even told the police that he took the boy to a wedding the night of the abduction.